Hi everyone, I, I wanted to share um, the choices of solenoid through, throughout the years. So I think I tested around uh, uh, 17 to 20 different solenoids and I want to share the ones that went, that got me the best results. So this is the, the 1330 or 1335, it depends if you measure from only the body or the body with the thread here. And this is the big brother of it. Uh, we have also one that was for a plotter machine or for a, a textile industry machine. And one that I found for a massager. I don't know which kind of massager it was, but it, it was in the description. I tested these and I assembled the handpieces. You can find the information on my uh, GitHub. And if you have any questions, you can contact me on Reddit. I will answer if you need it. And this one is the 24 volt, volt version. That's why it's a different color from the handpiece. And the I use the 12 uh, volts version because I'm using a PSU of 19 volts. According to the data sheet of the, the solenoid, you can power up to 24 uh, volts if the dirty cycle is not uh, above 25%. But this is the first hand piece that got me the results and then I started stone setting with them. I just want to make sure that uh, uh, my intention here is to show the process and uh, the hand pieces, they are suitable for stone setting. I try to engrave it with them. They work, but after 15, 20 minutes, they get hot. And um, that, that a good thing is that I have several of them, so I can just switch between them. I have just a switch. You can hear it in my machine. So I can switch between different hand pieces. But for stone setting, they work it perfectly. From, I have a test sample here. From one millimeter stones to 2.5 millimeter stones. These are two millimeters. These are one millimeter. I, I will post pictures so you can see that the hand pieces are not only powerful, but also fine. Because it doesn't matter if they are powerful and you cannot control it. So I, this is the first one that I got and it's perfect. I, I often come back to it because I'm fine tuning the other two. For those who have a bigger hand or want more power, this one is a beast. Uh, it's a 12 volt version. It doesn't get hot. If I wanted to make an engraver and to engrave with it, this would be the the best one. I I run the the machine with the the higher frequency and at least twenty percent of duty cycle to measure the temperature. This one went thirty five minutes with uh, around sixty sixty five um, sixty five uh, Celsius. This is twelve volts powered by nineteen volts. This one is a different story. Um, this is six volts. So if you power this with a an 18 volt power PSU, this will get super hot in a matter of minutes, two or three minutes, and it's going to uh, even melt the handpiece. If you if you've been following my my channel, you can see that I have some information about the handpiece melting. But that's why I implemented a PWM in the code. And if you have a PSU that is higher than 24, but you want to power it at 19, you can just uh, switch the, you can just uh, get the knob or some potentiometer and select it to your desired voltage. And this it was a coincidence. It's powered through 12 volts. This is the perfect solenoid for what I wanted. So I can see here, this is the, this version here. What I did was I remove the back and then I trim 
the the whole piston here the the metal thing so instead of this is, is what go, is going inside i bought several of them because they were like seven dollars each and then you trim on this line here and then you get left you are left with this part inside and after you remove the back it's a free flo floating piston so you can you can just get a something to increase or decrease the the travel distance of it but this one it is kind of uh, it's heavy it's a heavy piston it's hollow it has a thread so it's easier to to mount this one i had to get some some screws in in the front of it to assemble it but this one is the strongest one by far i can i can power it through 12 volts and i i can bezel setting for set the some things so i if i want i want to punch i use this one and if i want to just regularly use it i will go to this one and the hand pieces they are they're relatively similar in size this one is a bit chubbier because I, I put some opening in the sides to increase the airflow and this one also uh, to increase the airflow it's not necessary because uh, when I use your stone setting you won't have like continuous uh, powering all the time so uh, this I think it's my final version uh, if you have an idea, you can uh, any other option. I'll get. I will let leave all the links in the description, and if you want to find on the GitHub, it will be there. Even the the handpiece, it, it's so compact. It's the perfect size for what I want. I I tried to buy one online from this brand here, Catway. I'm not sponsored by any means. And the handpiece was okay, but I believe they use a uh, different voltage than what I'm using here on the uh, 19 volts PSU. So this is kind of, uh, yeah, it, it would work for small stones, but above two, two millimeters, it wasn't for me. The, I, I cannot vouch for their machines, but for the system that I developed, it didn't work. And I believe I have a, com a more compact uh, handpiece that it's kind of useful for me. So I will show you uh, them working. Uh, so let's let's check. So let's check here. I made this uh, super cheap platform to test because I wanted to just couple the all the solenoids that I've bought and uh, make a chart of the temperature, the power, the duty cycle, everything else, so I could choose the best ones that would be uh, adaptable. Um, I have a switch here uh, in, in my machine. You can listen to it, to it clicking. So I have two head pieces that are connected. So I can just go ahead and use two hand pieces at the same time and not at the same time but I can use two hand pieces in the machine so you this is the this one and then I just switch and just go to the next one I'm going to show first uh, the ones that uh, the one that had has the solenoid that is six volts I will switch the PWM code. I'm not using any assistance here. I'm, I'm don't don't have a a microscope or some visors. So uh, I will just first switch uh, change the voltage so you can hear it clicking. It's not even reaching the collet right now. And then I'm gradually increasing increasing the PWM. Sorry, rest in peace, headphone users. So I, this is the voltage that it's okay. According to the measurements here, it's reaching 2.5 volts. I believe it's enough for what I wanted. This is a, a 120 degrees graver. 
I, I oxidized it to make it easier to see. So let's start just a bit. Yeah, it worked. So I'm going to increase to 15 volts, then it's going to be super heavy. I'm using just an off brand carbide graver here. And let's try to go deeper. Yeah, it kind of works. Let's see if I can zoom in. Yep. So, but this is not something that I used. Uh, I I use it most for uh, punching the the holes before setting. And then I'm going to go for the hand pieces that I use the most. That is this one. I'm gradually uh, changing to the other one. I can just get a super fine line if I want to. I hope you can see from the... It's not even visible. And I can also increase the travel distance. Let's go and increase the energy. Let's go a bit more, I believe this is the maximum, yeah. It is good. And I believe you can see by the reflection that they are super shiny. I don't see a vibration on the tip of the handpiece because of the modification that I did in the previous video that this is super sturdy. So let's let's change for the next one. The one that I wanted to show. So here uh, I would just replace the screws. I'm going to make a better a better fixture for for these end pieces. This one is ready. So right now I'm using a this connector here for all the hand pieces. They are easier to to just switch, but I'm just using two of them at the same time, so it's not relevant for what you need. And then I'm going to go back to the 120 degrees graver. You can hear it. The, the only problem that I will think about it is that it's kind of punchy, but the frequency is not that high. So if you want to go on a higher frequency, it will just vibrate inside. So I'm going to gradually increase the speed. And around uh, around 35 to 45 hertz of frequency it starts just floating and not not hitting the collet you can hear the change of pitch but you can just change in the code if you want to so let's go for i'm going to use a lower frequency here And now I'm going to go for a finer setting. Yeah, 
so that's it i believe that's that was everything that i had to share um the code will be online if you want to check uh, this is just for reference this is just a phosphor bronze uh, plate that i bought online so it's uh, kind of represents the 14 karat gold uh, kind of not exactly and if you been watching to up to here thank you so much for for your time and if you have any tip please leave in the comments um, like or dislike if you don't if you have some objections i just wanted to inspire people to find some some cheap alternatives in whenever we cannot find them in our own country okay thank you and have a nice day evening or night